This is the beautiful bomb engine type HB14, which they note on their website is their most popular engine. And you can see why. It's got a... Uh, I mean, these engines are made as much for their looks as for the fact that they can run. Uh, this has got six um, little ball bearings. One, two, three, four, five, six. And... It's got probably twice as many um, uh, moving parts as it really needs. But it's lovely, has a very particular noise, um, and let's get it going. Beautifully machined, as you'd expect in Germany, but I still feel that this is a mass-produced um, object. These are heavily advertised on uh, Google Advertising. And I think uh, I think the quality is certainly not as good as Contacts. You know, it's uh, yes, it's pretty, but it's um, made on a uh, on a budget still. Even so, um, and. It's not using the uh, high quality materials that the engines from Contax, uh, you know, you still have to use oil with this thing, which is, you know, fine, but you don't have to with Contax engines. Well, not the ones I've got. Let's, uh, I mean, you can get away with not um, oiling this engine. It will run. But it will not run well. Okay. So you'd already notice a lot more mechanical noise than, for example, the little um, Contax engine. I mean, there's a lot more moving parts, but yeah, even so. And although this bomb engine has uh, quite a small distance between the hot engine and the cold engine, uh, the, the hot area and the cold area in the uh, in the displacement chamber, the expansion chamber, it's um, it can run really, really fast. They tend to get their long crankshafts working pretty well. Um, I would notice that this wheel is not wobbling at all and this one is hardly wobbling so that's you know that's pretty good needs a little bit more oil and you'll start to see the difference that makes yeah it's getting in there now So usually I'd use WD-40, I don't know where my WD-40's gone. It will go much faster on WD-40, well, it seems to. Well, we'll just see whether it's going to speed up. Hasn't been run for a while, it might make a difference. Now you can see I'm moving these um, burners around. I'd be happy if they just didn't have these big long slots and the burners were in the proper place all the time. They don't need to make it so that they can vibrate up and down.
let's turn the fish tank off again. Yeah, you hear the difference? If you want to ask me questions about these engines, I'll try to answer them. Um, I've always thought the bomb engines were not cheap. Uh, I know they have a lot of advertising to pay for. And uh, let's run out of meths. Stop that. Didn't put a lot in that one. I mean, this bomb engine certainly has its charm. It's, uh, I think you would say it's a bit of a crowd pleaser. It's interesting, it's beautiful. Um, all the movement is very eye-catching. I think kids are going to love this. Yes, it's got a power takeoff. Uh, bomb make accessories, much like Walesco do. And Mamod. I literally haven't run this for years. You know, and there's just no problem, is there? Uh, I think it doesn't need lubrication anywhere except in the cylinders. And it has that sewing machine sound. Good job, bomb. Let's pick it up and hear it off the table. Okay, the frame is cold. But these are hot. The, um, the hot area, you know, the heat's definitely uh, leaking, as you would say, from this to this. We're being transferred, you, it would be more polite, I suppose. So of course you don't have to run it as fast as this. You could choose a little bit smaller amount of uh, wick on the burner.